Thursday, June 20, The Loud Cry. Read Revelation 18, verses 1 to 4, Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 14, and Matthew 24, verse 14. Let's start with Revelation 18 and verse 1. After this I saw another angel coming down from heaven. He had great authority, and the earth was illuminated by his splendor. With a mighty voice he shouted, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great. She has become a dwelling for demons and a haunt for every impure spirit, a haunt for every unclean bird, a haunt for every unclean and detestable animal. For all the nations have drunk the maddening wine of her adulteries. The kings of the earth committed adultery with her, and the merchants of the earth grew rich from her excessive luxuries. Then I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, so that you will not share in her sins, so that you will not receive of any of her plagues. And Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 14, For the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord, as the waters cover the sea. And Matthew 24 and verse 14, and that reads, and this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations, and then the end will come. The angel announcing the fall of Babylon has great authority like the angels of Revelation 14. This angel represents human beings. This angel reveals the glory of God so fully that it illuminates the entire earth. The Greek word for authority or power in the New Testament is exousia, E-X-O-U-S-I-A. It often refers to Christ's triumph over the principalities and powers of hell. Jesus uses this word in the Gospel of Matthew in harmony with the sending out of his disciples. In Matthew 10.1, Jesus gives his disciples authority over the principalities and powers of hell. The verse reads, Jesus called his twelve disciples to him and gave them authority to drive out impure spirits and to heal every disease and sickness. Jesus gives his disciples authority over the principalities and powers of hell. He sends them out with the divine power to be victorious in the battle between good and evil. In Matthew 28, he once again sends them out with all authority in heaven and on earth to go therefore and make disciples of all nations. Let's read those verses, Matthew 28, verses 18 and 19. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Filled with the power of the Holy Spirit, going forth with the authority of the living Christ, who in his life and death triumphed over the principalities and powers of hell, the New Testament church lightened the earth with the glory of God. In a few short years, the disciples proclaimed the gospel to the then known world, as you read in Colossians 1.23. If you continue in your faith, established and firm, and do not move from the hope held out in the gospel, this is the gospel that you heard, and that has been proclaimed to every creature under heaven, and of which I, Paul, have become a servant. At the end of time, the Holy Spirit will be poured out in unprecedented power, and the gospel will be spread rapidly to the ends of the earth. Thousands will be converted in a day, and God's grace and truth will impact the entire planet. In this way, the world will be warned, and the gospel and the hope it offers will be spread worldwide. The great work of the gospel we read in The Great Controversy, page 611 and 612, is not to close with less manifestation of the power of God than marked its opening. The prophecies which were fulfilled in the outpouring of the former reign at the opening of the gospel are again to be fulfilled in the latter reign at its close. Servants of God with their faces lighted up and shining with holy consecration will hasten from place to place to proclaim the message from heaven. 
by thousands of voices all over the earth. The warning will be given, miracles will be wrought, the sick will be healed, and signs and wonders will follow the believers. And so to finish today, what is holding back the mighty outpouring of the Holy Spirit, the latter rain and the loud cry? However small our role as individuals might be, what role can we fill in being open and receptive to the outpouring of the Holy Spirit? This lesson was read by Dr. Percy Harold for Christian Services for the Blind. Sponsored by the Sabbath School Department and distributed through Hope Channel Australia, this podcast is also redistributed by Hope Channel Germany, Christian Record Services for the Blind. It is also available on SoundCloud and through multiple podcast distributors, including Apple iTunes. And you can listen and watch at the same time on YouTube. Remember, God is always faithful.